Today we are going to make a delicious Greek feta dip during Anyone Can Cook. This is a super easy recipe and um, I'm pretty sure that everyone can make it, okay? So to start, we need some feta cheese, okay? Uh, feta cheese can be found in the grocery store. It's, uh, it's really, really tasty. So we'll put our feta cheese into a bowl. Then we have um, Greek yogurt, and you can find that really easily in the, in the grocery store. Make sure you get the plain, okay? Don't get a flavor, because that will not taste good. So make sure it's plain Greek yogurt. Okay, so that will go in the bowl. That smells really good. You're gonna need a spatula to get all that out. Next, we put in a thing, one block of cream cheese, okay? And this is gonna make a really, really good dip. And with the holidays coming up, that would be really a fun thing that you could take and impress your family with. Okay, you're gonna need some olive oil. We're gonna use the olive oil two times we're gonna use it inside the dip and then we're gonna use it as a garnish on the top. So, we're gonna measure, we'll probably do like two tablespoons, I'd say. So one and two. Okay, so we got that going. Okay, then in the dip, we also need to add some lemon juice. Okay, so I cut a lemon in half. Remember, when you're working with produce, even if you don't use the outside, you still wanna wash your lemon. So I had already washed up the lemon and we're gonna just squeeze some lemon juice in and make sure to catch it. You can use your hands to catch the seeds so you don't end up with seeds in your food because that is not gonna taste good. Bite down into a seed. And then we're also going to put in a little bit of salt. And uh, the recipe calls for just a pinch. Okay. And um, we also could use some red pepper flake, but um, I didn't want to make it spicy. So we're going to leave that out. But if you were going to add that, you would just use just a pinch. So. Now we've got all of our ingredients that we're going to put into our dip. I'm gonna set this down here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our electric mixer and we are going to mix everything up in this bowl. Okay, so it's gonna get loud now. I'm gonna turn it off, break on the sides. seems a little thick, so I'm actually going to add a little more of lemon juice to it. Okay. And then put it back on. And ta-da. Okay. So, we have got this delicious cheese and green cheese and Greek yogurt mixture here. The base of our dip. Okay, now we need to have uh, different vegetables to go in and on top of this dip. So we've got an uh, English cucumber. Okay, they're like a regular cucumber, but they taste a lot better. You don't have to take the skin off of these, but I washed it. And so um, I went ahead and chopped up about half of it, and then about half. It's going to go into the dip. I'm going to leave about half out. Okay. And then I've got tomato. So uh, chop that into small pieces. And we're going to go about half in and half out. And then I've got dill. Okay. 
here is what it looks like before. This is what makes your pickles taste really, really good. So I chopped it off. Don't include that stem. That won't taste good. But put about half of that in. Okay. Now you don't want to use the mixer when you're mixing the vegetables in or else you'll just kind of uh, squish them. So we're just going to carefully fold everything in together. Okay. Oh, it smells so good, that dill. It smells delicious. Looking good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now, if you're cooking this to a party, you don't want to just bring it in this ugly bowl. So, take another bowl, a prettier one, and you'll scoop some of your dip into that bowl. Okay? Because remember, some you eat with your eyes too. So it is also about presentation. Okay? So you've got your dip in this pretty bowl. And then with the cucumber and tomato and dill we didn't use, you put that along the top. Okay? Just sprinkle it along. Make it nice and pretty. You've got your tomato here. And then last is the dill. And you can always chop up more if you don't think that's gonna be enough. But I think that looks pretty. And the last thing you do is you take your olive oil and you just um, drizzle carefully just a little bit. Okay. That's just plain, that's olive oil, okay? You don't use like vegetable oil that one. Want to be olive oil. Okay, so that is our Greek feta dip. I brought, got some crackers or some pita chips to go with it. Take that to your parties upcoming, Thanksgiving or Christmas. People will be really impressed. So, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, watching this video, and uh, we'll see you next month for anyone. Thank you. Bye.